Hi, I'm Kevin and this is Janine and we're here to talk about loading. Loading is really important to this program and oftentimes it's really overlooked. And so Janine, we actually took a prospective weight loss client to the store and tell me how the shopping trip went. Well, she and I went together and she had read the beginning of our manual and decided that she was maybe prepared to do this program. And so she thought that it would be fun if she went shopping with me and she could pick the foods that she felt were going to be best for loading. Now when we got done, they did a side-by-side -side comparison with the shopping cart. You don't want to make the same mistakes that Lauren was about to make. Watch the rest of this video and see what we discovered. When shopping, it's best to be prepared. Make sure you read your labels as you go. You can have something as simple as two cartons of ice cream from the same company, and in this case, the one on the left has 10 grams more of fat per serving than the one on the right. That's 40 grams of fat more per pint in the one on the left than the one on the right. So let's see how our carts compare. Now the sharp cheddar cheese is higher in fat than the Monterey Jack. So Lauren wins on that. And her hot dogs look pretty good at 16 grams of fat per each one. Peanut butter far outweighs the ravioli. You only need two tablespoons at 16 grams of fat versus a whole cup of her raviolis has seven. Ice cream can be a huge difference. Mine has 24 grams of fat per half cup and Lauren has seven grams. She's gonna have to eat three scoops of ice cream per my one. So let's see how we looked all together. My cart had 88 grams of fat more per serving. Needless to say, I can pack it on with a smaller amount of food. Lauren, you did a great job and for being such a great player, let's get you started with some peanut butter cup bouquet at 45 grams per a fat per serving, it will be a great starter. I know you're gonna enjoy this program as much as I do. Before we go, we need to grab our fruits and veggies. And we need, most importantly, to make sure that we have a 100 grams of protein with every meal. Extra lean ground beef and our chicken breast, just so that we can be prepared. Oh, and don't forget the fish. Janine, thank you for that trip to the grocery store. It's very insightful, and Lauren's journey doesn't end there. She goes home and starts to load, and it's important that you get yourself psyched up for these first two days as they're very important to success on this program. In Lauren's case, she has her coach right here with her as she has purchased some fast food, and she starts coaching her, getting that, that uh, first meal down. Now, as you can see from the monitor, if you choose to eat out and do all your loading that way, it can become very expensive very quickly. We recommend you spend that same money on groceries at the grocery store. You're going to get, a lot of times, higher fat content foods. You're going to be able to control the foods that you eat and ultimately have to eat less foods to get the right amount of fat grams and calories down that you really need to be to be successful on the loading phase of this program. If you look like Lauren here, after the first uh, couple of hours of loading, you're probably doing it right, um, as most of us don't want to eat any more food at that point, but it's important to get the seven to 10,000 calories down per day that you really need to do to load correctly. I hope this video was helpful for you. It certainly has been for me, and we look forward to seeing and hearing all about your success.